This is a quick video on how to waterproof anything, specifically uh, circuit boards. So first of all, basically you can't buy this stuff. Corrosion X is what it is. You cannot buy this stuff in any of the big box stores. Um, I believe it's a great product. It should be in the box stores, but it's just not. Um, you have to pretty much get it offline. I got these off of uh, eBay. I've used this can quite a bit and I actually just bought this can to replace it. So um, I've had quite a bit of experience and uh, so far so good with this stuff. Uh, the cost of it, uh, it's not too bad for what it is. Uh, it's, I paid about 25 bucks <coughs> for each of these. Um, I've seen them up to selling for up to $35 or so. It just depends on who you buy it from and uh, where you buy it from. So this stuff, if you go ahead and coat a circuit board like this or even a small circuit board like in this uh, servo, it will pretty much completely waterproof it. Now, um, keep in mind, you don't want to have a circuit board like this and just totally submerge it. Uh, for that, I would recommend something like epoxy or uh, fiberglass resin or something else like that. So the reason I really, really like this stuff so much and I'm making a video on it is because this stuff will actually bring circuit boards back uh, after they've been water damaged. Like the circuit board will actually work and function like it was before the water damage. If you use this stuff, spray it on and apply it before you uh, get anything wet, it will also just completely waterproof whatever it is that you're spraying it on, whatever uh, circuit board that is. In order to have the best results from a water damaged circuit board, what you want to do is first of all know that uh, as soon as the circuit board gets wet, that's the point where you need to shut it off immediately. Whatever electronic it is that you're using, shut it off immediately. Uh, next step is going to be to dry it and then um, you want to go ahead and coat it coat the uh, circuit board generously with corrosion X and your circuit board should actually come back and work like it used to now for example if you take a circuit board and it's wet and uh, you just keep using whatever it is that has a circuit board in it you're not going to have as good results uh, more than likely you're actually going to damage the circuit board permanently so, like I said, you want to shut it off as soon as you know there's water in it, dry it out, and then put this stuff on it, and it works like a charm. I've used Corrosion X in many different applications. One of the applications is little servo motors for RC cars. Uh, these have a circuit board in it, kind of like this, but a lot smaller. Uh, they also have a motor. They've actually got a brushed motor. So, what you want to do is only coat the circuit board. If you go ahead and coat the motor, it's actually gonna ruin the motor and the motor will completely quit working. So um, keep it away from any motors. This is probably a no brainer and very obvious, but whenever you go to coat a circuit board that you're waterproofing or uh, bringing back from water damage, you're gonna wanna go ahead and coat the entire circuit board on the top as well as the bottom and the sides as well. So I've got a couple of examples to share with you guys. One of the examples is a grinder. There's also a servo, which is what this is, and a receiver and an RC car as well. So first of all, the grinder, we'll start with that. So it was out in the garage. Basically, it got hosed down. It has some variable resistors and it is, um, it has a, a uh, circuit board like this because of the variable resistors. Well. Either way, it got wet and I had to use this Corrosion X. Um, <clears throat> so that's one of the examples that actually brought that chip back from the dead. And it's the same concept on these little things. I had a buddy that ran his uh, RC car under too much water. Um, the servo got water damaged. We shut it off quick enough and then um, went ahead and put this stuff on it and actually brought it back. And uh, same kind of concept with the receiver. Um, you got some water on the receiver, uh, which is basically a circuit board like this, and then uh, we sprayed it down with this after we dried it off, and uh, it worked like a charm. One thing to note with the servo, like I said before, uh, if you have any kind of motor, you do not want to get this stuff on the brushed motor. There's lots of other uses for this stuff. Um, for example, you can use it to wipe down steel if you have a small amount of angle iron or uh, flat steel or something like that to, that you don't want to rust that you got to store for a little bit um, 
You can use it for circuit boards. You can use it for um, anything that's electric, anything, basically anything that rusts or corrodes. One thing I'm still experimenting with with this stuff is the use of this stuff with bearings, not as lubricant for bearings, but say you got two pieces of metal, uh, you got the bearing and you have a metal hub and you need to press the bearing into the hub. I'll take and put corrosion X in the hub and then press the bearing in. So I got a four wheeler that I'm actually trying that out on. And um, it's been in there for probably, probably at least six months, maybe a year now. So whenever I need to do the bearings on that four wheeler again, I'll take it apart and let you guys know. As you can probably tell, I love this Corrosion X product. Um, it's worked really well for me and I'm gonna continue using it. So um, I have a couple other videos. Uh, I got the video about the grinder that I was talking about earlier. I have a video about how to waterproof a servo like this one, as well as a receiver for an RC car too, all using this Corrosion X product. So if you're interested in those videos, I'm gonna leave links in the description to all those videos. And uh, thanks for watching.